Hello, this is Ray from MathWorks. In this video, I'll introduce you to the linear system solver and the matrix factorization blocks in fixed point designer toolbox. This set of blocks can solve linear systems such as A times X equals to B and A transpose A times X equals to B. So such solvers are commonly used in beamforming applications like radar, wireless communications, and audio applications. All these blocks are built based on hardware-efficient quartic algorithms. They are also compatible with HDL code generation workflow, so they can provide user bit and cycle accurate simulations, as well as generate efficient HDL code for FPGA or ASIC deployment. On the application side, we also have an example shows how to implement a fixed point HDL optimized MVDR beamformer. In MATLAB 2022b, several new features are added and improved for these blocks. And let me walk you through them. The first improvement we have in this update is the latency of complex partial systolic QR and QLS QR blocks are reduced by about 50%. This is achieved purely by pipeline optimization. So the accuracy of numeric calculation remains same, and no additional hardware resources are required in the generated hardware design. Here is an example which shows a direct comparison between a 22A model and a 22B model. We run the model and notice that the data we feed into these two blocks are exactly same, and we monitor the latency between the valid data input and the QR become ready again. Let's open up the logic analyzer, and we can see that in the 22A model, the latency of this model is about 73 clock cycles, and in 22B model, this reduced to 38 clock cycles, which is about two times faster. This reduction in the latency can help users to achieve higher throughput as well as lower cost since FPGA with lower clock rate can be used. The second enhancement that we have for this block set is we adopt the AMBA XE handshaking protocol to all our QR and the matrix soft blocks in fixed point designer toolbox. And briefly speaking, in this protocol, the upstream and downstream block acknowledge the data transaction when both ready and the valid signal are asserted. And this example covers the three common use cases, valid before ready, valid with ready, and ready before valid. We can run the simulation, bring up the logic analyzer, and zoom into the data transaction part. So we can see that in the valid before ready case, the upstream data source block get data prepared before QR ready to consume it. So the valid signal is asserted first. And when downstream ready is also asserted, both blocks assume the data transaction is finished and move on to the next state. Similarly, in the ready before valid case, the downstream is ready first and wait for the upstream to feed in data. Again, when both ready and valid signal are asserted, both upstream and downstream blocks consider the data transaction is done. The last use case is valid with ready. This means upstream and downstream have same latency, so the ready and the valid signal asserted at the same time, and then they move on in the next clock. We believe that this standardized protocol can help users to interface with our blocks easier and make the data transaction more robust. The last new feature we added is a new set of blocks that support asynchronized Cholesky matrix solve. These blocks solve the linear system A transpose A times X equals to B. If we look under the mask, so this block consists two major parts, the QLS QR decomposition and forward backward substitution. In the asynchronized implementation, the substitution block does not wait for the result from QR, but it runs continuously using the latest buffered data. This example is built 
based on our complex burst asynchronized matrix soft block. And we can run this simulation. And let's check the results. For demonstration purpose, the input A matrix is toggling between two matrices, while B matrix remains constant. We can see that the system generates output at a constant rate, and the output value also toggles between two solutions, which corresponding to the two A matrices. And this asynchronized behavior is particularly useful for beam forming applications. In such a system, the data from the sensor or antenna array, which represented by this A matrix, usually comes in at a constant rate, but the steering angle, which represented by B, is usually controlled by other mechanisms at different rate. So decoupling the matrix factorization and substitution allows the data from sensing elements keeps flowing in without affecting downstream processing. And this helps user to reduce timing constraints, which in turn lowering the overall system cost. We also want to highlight that for all the above mentioned blocks, we have two architectures in which the first implementation is optimized for smaller footprint and the partial systolic implementation is optimized for high throughput. In summary, the matrix factorization and the linear system solver blocks in fixed point designer toolbox can solve system equations A times X equals to B and A transpose A times X equals to B. The HDL optimized models can provide a user bit and cycle accurate simulation result. And these blocks can also generate efficient HDL code for FPGA and ASIC deployment. Thank you.